Hello then, I hope you are doing well. Here's a quick guide on how to complete the quarry lost sector solo and flawless on legendary difficulty. Timestamps are in the description below. This sector can be found in the EDZ. Spawn in the sunken isles to the north side of the map and travel straight forward. The cave entrance to the sector will be located directly in front of you. If the flag is locked or if it isn't there, you will first need to complete the sector normally in order to unlock the higher difficulties. This sector contains barriers and unstops. The threat is void and are a couple of solar and void shields throughout the sector. During the recording of this video, the surges were strand and solar. That might be different for you. The surges are on a weekly rotation, so always double check if the surges are a match of subclass or weapons of the same element to deal extra damage. Moving on to loadouts. Around the sector on all three characters and these other loadouts are used. For unstops around Zuli's Bane, Riptide and Tyranny of Heaven. For barriers around Wish and their corrective measure of Voltile Rounds and Arbalest. Now you do not need the same exact weapons or armor pieces as me. As long as you have something to stun the champions with, you are ready to run it. This is where you can see a variety across the board to show you that you can complete the sector with anything you want and whatever you're comfortable with. Use the same loadouts and weapons or mix and match. Your choice. Now onto mods starting with a class item. Run any of the mods to help reduce your ability cooldowns using different abilities or powerful attraction to help click nearby orbs. You could also run the mods proximity ward and healthy finisher to get your health back along with an overshield when performing a finisher. For leg armor, you can run mods to help with your ability regen when picking up orbs of power. You could also run scavenger mods to pick up additional ammunition when picking up ammo bricks. On your chest armor, run a concussive dampener to help reduce incoming damage from grenades. The threat is void, so definitely have a resist mod because incoming void damage is increased by 25%. For gauntlets, run any mods that boost your ability regen or create orbs of power. Finally, for the helmet, I suggest you have a heavy ammo finder mod on along some ashes to access to get your super back on grenade kills. This is what I used, so either copy it or use it as a template to make your own. Once again, you did not need the same weapons, armor, subclasses, or even mods as me to complete this last sector. With that out of the way, let's get straight into it. The strategy I'm going to show you can work on all three classes. Once you spawn in, stay near the back of a cave. In front of you will be some ads and an unstop champ. Try killing some of the ads off first, but otherwise your main priority will be the unstop. It will either try to rush you or hide behind a rock, so stun it as soon as you see it. Remember that with the artifact mods, you will first need to ADS with your weapon until it glows white before being able to stun the unstop. Once done, push up a little and use this high ground to dispose of the remaining adds. There are plenty of explosive barrels, so utilize them when killing the adds. Push on further into the cave where some of the ads will be waiting for you and just behind them is a tunnel. Don't go too far into it and instead stay at the mouth of the tunnel. Kill some minor ads around it and then wait, because at the bottom to the right will emerge a barrier champion. Just use the rock on your left to block its missile attacks and pixel peek around it. Once done, again don't push too far because you will be rushed by a gladiator from the left side. Behind them is a tunnel that leads into the boss area. Crouch walk into the tunnel and then wait for a little. There are three scions near the entrance that you want to get rid of. The boss along with additional ads will be at the back whilst on the top left ledge will be the barrier champion. Now you want to deal with the barrier first because from the high ground it will only be a nuisance. To your left is a large rock and you want to use that to block the attacks from the boss and any remaining ads whilst dealing with the barrier. Once done you have two options. There are rocks to your right from where you entered that you can use for cover but the ass can rush you there. The other option is to quickly run to your left and jump up onto the ledge where the barrier was. It is a little risky but you can use the rocks for cover. Explode the barrels or throw a grenade at the boss's stagger it slash distract it to give yourself time to jump onto the ledge. From up here you can see all the ads and safely dispose of them by crouching and pixel peeking over the edge. Facing the way you entered, to your left is a ramp that the ads can sometimes use to climb towards you. Once you remove one bar of the boss's health, the last unstopped champ will appear and will rush you by using that ramp. Stay at the top of the ramp and then focus on getting rid of it. Once done, focus on the boss again and when it reaches the last health bar, more ads will spawn in. Focus on clearing the ads first so the boss is on its own, because when it gets low on health, it likes to go and stand by the chest, so you want the area to be clear for easy rotations. And there you have it, that is how you complete the quarry lost sector solo and flawlessly on legendary difficulty. If you have found guide to be helpful, then please like, share and post a comment. Don't forget to subscribe for more Destiny 2 guides. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.